Well, you can't very well play Dungeons and Dragons without a dungeon. So I have these modular dungeon pieces I made with silicone molds I got from herstarts.com. I'll put a link in the description so you can check out his products. They are great, and he provides full instructions for how to use them to make your own dungeon pieces. But to really dress up a dungeon, I need some accessories to decorate the dungeon. Like barrels, crates, and of course, treasure chests. So I grabbed some extra plaster blocks I had and started carving. I started with a large barrel which could also be used as a keg in a tavern. Then I carved out a couple of different treasure chests and decorated them with straps made from cardstock. I also made a small barrel as well as a crate. Then I made my own silicone rubber mold of all these accessories so that I could cast as many copies as I wanted from plaster or epoxy. Once the mold was ready, I could mix up and pour some plaster. But first, I wanted to build a vibrating platform to help remove bubbles from the plaster while I poured it. So I pulled out this robot bug kit I had because it had a little motor in it with an offset weight on it. Then I needed a piece of chipboard to be my platform. I glued a bunch of rubber feet to the bottom of it so that it would be able to vibrate, attached the motor to it, and tested it out. Then I could pour the plaster. Once the plaster had dried, I demolded the pieces and it was time to paint. I taped down all the pieces to a piece of cardboard to make it easier to apply the base coat without the pieces moving around. Pretty much everything started with a base coat of brown. Then I added some lighter brown detail work for any of the wood. Next, I mixed some silver with black added to make a gunmetal color for the metal straps. And with my finest detail brush, I started to paint all the little straps on the barrels and chests. And then my accessories were all done. A proper dungeon for my players to crawl in, and crates and barrels and chests to loot.
Thanks for watching this video and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to see more of these D&D crafting videos.